take the next five seconds to like this video before we get right into the content. All right, so as everybody knows, girls can't play video games and Sativa Diva, the in-house baddie for Pwnhub, has decided to prove that fact right now with this gameplay that she sent in of season three to prove that girls don't have thumbs. That's what this is gonna prove. No, seriously, uh, today's video is going to be directly about the Halloween event skins. And, you know, obviously I love to use my friends and the other content creators that help support and create Pwn Hub the way it is in as many videos as I possibly can. And our resident gorgeous babe, Sativa Diva, the, the baby seal herself, has decided to grace us with a gameplay. And we've actually got some awesome stuff to talk about. So let's just do the normal spiel. So smash that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Now let's stop wasting time and just bring these skins up, right? Here they are. Now I will say that there's some, there's like two L-Star skins, which makes me think some of these are not Halloween skins. But as you can see there, we got a Day of the Dead Mastiff skin. We've got, you know, one that looks like a Ray Gun remake. And then we have the Jack-O-Lantern looking flatline in the Spiderweb RE45. Now the thing is, I really like that flatline with the Jack-O-Lantern kind of theme going to it. But I will say, to me, the weaponry is not getting the skin upgrade that we've seen for the Legends. Now, if you're unaware, the, even the rare skins coming up in the Halloween event for the Legends are absolutely absurd. And I'll throw them up there real quick just to take a look. You can see these are just rare skins. These are not Legendary or Epic skins as far as we know right now. They could be Epic because of the light glowing you know, animations. But... They are not legendary skins. That's one thing we know absolutely that they are not legendary skins. So they're not 1800 Apex coin skins, which is huge in my opinion. Because honestly, we've been seeing these rare skins get just completely elevated to another level the entirety of season three so far. The battle pass skins like Caustic and Octane are just absolutely insane for being rares. And then you look at stuff like the From the Ashes Lifeline skin, which is just another one that's absolutely insane, off the charts, good looking. And it makes me wonder, what are we going to see for the actual legendary skins? Like, what is actually coming to the game over the course of Season 3? We know that there's going to be more than one event. We've seen so many events come and go in the last like month and a half, two months, that obviously Season 3 is most likely going to be littered with new limited time modes and other events that we can enjoy and just, you know, kind of screw around with, which I am totally excited for, especially after seeing the amount of cosmetic items that were added into the Halloween event that have been leaked already. Now, one thing that I can say that I haven't seen and that kind of, it, it bums me out is that there is no extra like dry, drive tail, blah, 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 dive trails being added to the game. And to, that's like something that I feel like all of us would want. And it's, I get if they want to make it like this special, it's only for people that are going to be, you know, playing ranked and getting diamond and predator. But that's boring, especially when something like bats, you know, or even just black and orange smoke coming out of our legs is really, really something that could have been very easily done and really thematic to Halloween. So I, it is disappointing and it does seem like a loss, especially considering there's no real changes to the layout of the store for us to have new items. Right now, as it stands, we're just gonna get basically some skins and the layout is the same. So we'll obviously be seeing event stores come and go more often, but I would have preferred to have seen some changes to the actual store letting us know that they're going to be trying to push better products to us rather than sell us junk because if you're going to sell us something at least make it worth buying right and i'm sure a lot of people are really freaking out about the halloween event costing a lot of money now i'm gonna go ahead and just venture a guess and say yeah there's definitely gonna be some skins that cost money in this event what i'm not sure is would, would they really on Halloween make everything pay? You know, like, is it really just going to be a sale? I don't think so. I think that 
while Halloween is an interesting, you know, national holiday, and it is really kind of based around, you know, buying costumes and buying candy and stuff like that. The idea is really to give the candy to people and to enjoy, you know, as much time with, you know, friends and family as you can. So it's almost like them doing a sale for Christmas, which or, you know, or for thing or for Thanksgiving. It, it's just so distasteful that I hope they really don't. Obviously, there are holidays like, you know, Valentine's Day where that's that's just, a, a, you know, basically an economic holiday that's about buying stuff that you really don't need to buy and i'm not saying that ladies to make you angry or anything like that it's you know obviously it's great to buy something to make your lady friends or you know significant others be it a man or you know otherwise something nice but do you really need a holiday that's like go buy flowers today no you really don't so i'm hoping they don't abuse the holidays like that and I really hope that with this Halloween update that there that it isn't just one of the sales Iron Crown events again. What I'm hoping is we actually see basically a, a mix of both. I hope I hope that they actually do have some skins that are like, you know, that awesome that they're going to sell them, you know. But I hope at the same time there's a ton of skins that we can get that are really cool and themed to Halloween along the way. So... If they add both, I have no problem with it. But if they add just pure buy this, buy this, I'm going to be real sad. Especially if it's unlocked this next blah, blah, blah amount of items to get the heirloom for Lifeline. Which I've been playing a lot of Lifeline this season. So, hey, who knows? But yeah, guys, about going to wrap it up for Killer Connie's gameplay. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get some more gameplays from her over the next couple weeks. But here is two videos you can check out if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, guys, have a good one.